Hello. In part two, we derived the vector valued function for the surface area of our torus. It was given by b plus a cosine of s times the sine of t times i plus b plus a cosine of s times the cosine of t j plus a sine of s times k. And that gave us our surface area capital sigma. So below we have the definition for a surface integral. It says that we take the double integral over our surface area, which is given by our vector valued function r, of d lowercase sigma, which is just a surface element, an infinitesimal surface element. And this is equal to the double integral over our region r, which is defined by s and t which was s and t both going from 0 to 2 pi radians, of the magnitude of the cross product between the partial derivative of r with respect to s and t multiplied by ds dt. So in this video, all we need to do is simply compute the partial derivatives. So I've done the first one below. We have the partial derivative with respect to s. Okay, so we get minus a sine t sine s times i for the x component. Okay, this is because if you expand, we get sine t times b. If you differentiate with respect to s, that goes to zero because that's a constant. t is a constant in this case. So all we need to do is partially differentiate a cosine of s sine of t with respect to s and we're going to get minus a sine of t sine of s okay sine of t is a constant differentiate cosine of s we get minus sine of s then for our y component it's very similar cosine of t times b is just a constant that completely disappears so we need to partially differentiate o a cosine of s times the cosine of t with respect to s and we're going to get minus a cosine of t sine of s j okay and then it's very easy for our z component we have no t variables so therefore it becomes a cosine of s times k then we need to compute the partial derivative with respect to t so we're going to get r sub t like that okay so this is going to become b plus a cosine of s a cosine of s times the cosine of t why well because uh, that whole term here is a complete constant therefore we just need to differentiate sine of t the constant carries uh, becomes along with the derivation and we get b plus a cosine of s times the cosine of t okay remember a constant multiplied by the thing you're differentiating just comes along with it okay and then to that oh we have our unit vector i that's our x component to that we have to minus minus a cosine of a um, oh hold a minute no sorry I'm doing the wrong thing here aren't I yes okay differentiating respect to t so actually it's minus b plus a cosine of s times the sine of t times j okay so let's go back to our vector valued function b plus a cosine of s is another constant, so we just differentiate cosine of t and we just get sine of t. Okay, very easy. And finally for the k component, well a, a sine of s is just a constant, so therefore we add 0k, so we have no z component for our partial derivative with respect to t. Okay, so in the next video, uh, using our partial derivatives, we can then calculate the cross product. And when we do that, we can then calculate the double integral over our region, 
and we should find the formula for our surface area.